Welcome. I'm happy to do Qigong with you today. I'm Barbara Klein. And first, I'm going to tell you a little bit about Qigong. Qigong is a unique ancient Chinese exercise and health system that allows you to enhance health and prevent illness by aligning the mind and body with qi. Qi is the vital energy or life force found within the body and throughout nature. The word qigong comes from the Chinese words qi, energy, and gong, meaning work or practice over time. In traditional Chinese medicine, illness is associated with stagnant or blocked qi. The practice of qigong is used to sever energy blockages by relaxing the mind, body, and emotions. Qigong allows you to cultivate internal energy and gather universal energy for the purposes of restoring health and well-being. By circulating and balancing vital energy flow, Qigong harmonizes the mind, the body, nourishes inner organs, and strengthens the immune system. Therefore, Qigong can be used for health restoration and improvement. There are many different kinds of Qigong. Five animal frolics, six sounds, eight pieces of brocade, yi jin jing, just to name a few, there are thousands. But not to worry, we're going to do some very basic ones today. Of course, before you start any exercise program, you need to be in touch with your health care provider to make sure exercise is appropriate for you. But Qigong is very mild, uh, relaxed kind of exercise, and it is good for almost all people. And a very good thing about it is that you can do it standing up, sitting down in a chair, or lying down even. So important things are relaxed breathing, posture and movement, and this visualization. So for example, if you're doing Qigong lying down and there's some movement involved, you can visualize it and visualize the movement of the Qi, Yi Dao, Qi Dao. Qi follows the mind. So if the mind is thinking about the movement of Qi, the Qi will follow. But don't worry about any of that. We're just going to concentrate on relaxing and breathing. So the breath in Qigong is um, from the lower abdomen. And this is called the Dantian in, in Chinese. It is uh, the storage area for this vital energy or life force Qi. A main storage area in the body. So we're going to be doing some breathing from here. So overlap your hands on the Dantian, the lower abdomen, and we're going to be breathing in through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. So as we're doing this, see if you can touch the tip of your tongue to the roof of your mouth gently, and that will help the chi to circulate. So while we do qigong, we try to remember to do that as much as possible. There's a channel that runs up the back, up the spine area, and over the head and ends right here, and one from the front that ends right below that. And when you touch your tongue, it's like turning on a switch. But just gently tip the tongue up. So if you should experience any dizz dizziness at all while we're doing Qigong, sit down or lie down. And you can also touch this point right under the nose. This is called the first aid point. And anytime there's any, you can remember this for other times also. Anytime there's any dizziness or you feel faint, touch here. It will help bring you back to your body. So qi flows through these uh, meridians. Uh, traditional Chinese uh, medicine thinks about the meridians as the pathways that move the qi. So that's connecting the two of them. So overlap your hands on the belly again. And when you inhale, you're going to uh, expand your abdomen. When you exhale, you're going to let it contract and relax naturally. So you can feel that movement with your hands. So inhaling and exhaling and relaxing. 
Inhaling. Exhale, relaxing. A few more breaths like this. Relax, breathing, so relax your body. We'll do some more relaxation exercises in a minute, but just remember that there's no stress, that this actually is a way to help your body release stress by just sitting and breathing. So if you focus on your breath like this, from sitting from three to five minutes, then it will help to relieve some stress. And these are pretty stressful times. So anytime you can relax your body and mind and emotions, it helps your health. So the next breathing we're gonna do is we're gonna touch point that's right here. So if the crease of the arm is up a little bit, so it's curving up from there and it's right below the center of your shoulder. There's a big indentation here. We're gonna cross our hands and touch both sides of that and do a little bit of rubbing in a circle like that. So use your middle finger. The middle finger is the uh, pericardium meridian. Meridian. That is the pericardium is the sac that surrounds the heart. So this is good for the heart. And this is a lung point we're touching, good for the lungs. So this helps to balance the grief from the lungs and the joy from the heart. It's a balancing. We're also going to relax our neck and shoulders a little bit because we often hold a lot of stress there. So as we inhale, we're going to exhale and bring our chin toward our chest, exhaling. Then inhale back up to center and exhale back, chin up. Inhale back to center, exhale, chin forward, down to the chest. This helps to stretch your neck, inhaling up, Exhaling back, do this one more time. So this helps to relax the muscles in your neck. Good. Inhale back to center. And now we're gonna turn the head to the left, exhaling. Inhale back to center. Exhale to the right. Inhale back to center. Exhale to the left, inhale back to center, and again right, inhale back. One more time to each side. Very good. Okay, um, next. We're going to do some breathing where we're holding our hands facing each other. And you can visualize the chi or energy between your hands. So just relax your hands and open them a little bit, inhaling. Exhaling, close them a little bit. So it's about the size of a volleyball. Inhaling, a little bit bigger, each ball maybe. Exhaling. So just imagine this chi that's between your hands. It might, you might be able to feel it. It might feel like a magnetic force. Inhaling, exhaling. Again. Inhaling and exhaling. And now we're going to bring the right hand above, like we're holding the ball in this direction and inhaling up and exhaling down. Inhaling up, exhaling down. One more like this. And then we're going to change our hands. We're going to rotate the ball so that our left hand is above. Inhaling up, 
So we have our hands facing each other because there's an energy point in the center of each hand. It's called Lao Gong in Chinese. It's a major uh, place for Qi to enter the body and exit the body. Good, okay. Relax now, we're gonna stand up and do a little more, uh, we're gonna do some tapping. Put your chair to the side. And I'll start with some tapping of the body just to um, release some more uh, energy, unneeded, stagnant, stale energy or blockages. We're gonna use this to sever some blockages. So touch the center of the chest and the center of the back like that. Again, you can sit down and do the very same thing if uh, standing up is not good for you. But standing up helps to strengthen the legs, muscles, the tendons, the bones, and also helps your balance. Good. Now we're going to open our hands and touch the shoulder and the back. So this is getting rid of stress in your shoulder area by doing this tapping motion. This is actually a, a bone washing. It helps to stimulate the bone marrow and the bone marrow is where white blood cells are produced. So this is very good for you. Okay, tapping down the arm. So first palm down, and palm up. Start at the shoulder and go down. Underneath, do that again. Underneath, and one more time. This side, the other side, and underneath. And we're going to do the other arm. So from the shoulder down, palm down, palm up, underneath, again, underneath, and one more time. Good. Next, we're going to tap down the front of the butt. Oh, first, we're going to do a point that's on the wrist. Let's not forget that one. So just a, a palm up from the bending line, tapping. We can close our hand and tap this one. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And the other side. Now we're going to tap down the front of the body. And one more time. Good. And now we're going to tap the kidney area on the back. If you can do this with your palms facing your back, that's great. Or you can turn your hands so the back is facing and tapping that area. Kidneys. So this is helping to stimulate the energy from the kidneys. And you can bend forward a little bit and sometimes that might help. It might make it easier to tap or you can even get somebody else to tap this for you if there's somebody that you're quarantined with. Okay, excellent. Next we're going to do the legs. So the front of the legs and when you're bending over just bend over as much as is comfortable for you. So and if you have high blood pressure, don't put your head below your heart. That will raise your blood pressure. So if you have high blood pressure, keep your chin out like this and don't go down quite as low. You can bend your knees to make it easier to tap as well. So tapping front of the legs all the way down to the feet, the sides of the legs all the way down to the feet, the back of the legs all the way down to the feet, the inside of the legs all the way down, Again, front, sides, insides, one more time.
Good. All right. And um, next we're going to tap right over the kneecap with our palm like this. And from the bottom of the kneecap, measure down four fingers and right, not on the middle line, but right on the outside of this bone here. So four fingers down, tapping. And right in the center in the back of the knee. Good. Next, rub your hands together. We're going to tap um, right in the uh, center here, right here. You can actually make a uh, kind of like fingers stuck together and tap that. And then go up a little bit right under the collarbone toward the center. Excellent. I don't know why I did that. I'm just going to check the screen. My keyboard popped up. I don't know if you can see that or not. So good. Next, we're going to run 10 dragons through the forest. So put your hands on your scalp and go from the front all the way to the back. On the sides as well. Middle lines, the side. Again, one more time, good. And now we're gonna pat, just pat your head from the front to the back. And massage your ear lobes from the top to the bottom, again. Good. Okay. And so that is helping relax our body. Another way to relax your body is just to shake. This is a good Qigong exercise that uh, many people do. Generate the shaking from your knees and from your wrists and just let your whole body relax. It's a good way to warm up if you're cold. You don't want to do this too long because right now when I'm filming this, it's a very warm day. Excellent. So again, touch the tip of your tongue up to the roof of your mouth. Check your posture. We're going to stand with our toes facing straight ahead. We're going to tuck in our tailbone a little bit where you can lift the pubic bone up. So chin back just a hair so that your back is straight. Feel like you're lifted up from the crown of your head from here. And let's take a few breaths. So inhale and gather chi from the earth, from the sky, from the universe, and let it pour over your body, washing down anything that's stagnant or stale or unneeded right to the ground. Again, inhaling up, gathering fresh chi. And this is like a chi shower, letting it pour over your body washing down anything that's unneeded right to the ground. Again, inhaling up, gathering chi, exhaling, and this time think of your whole body being filled with this fresh chi that you're gathering. A few more times, gather, fill your whole body with this fresh chi. Again, and one last time, inhaling, exhaling, overlap your hands on the Dantian, this lower belly area, and we're going to do some Qigong for organ cleansing and strengthening. So circling this area, eight times in each direction, exhaling as you go down, 
inhaling as you come up. And if you exhale all of your air when you go down, then you don't have to think about the inhale of the automatic. And you've done eight in one direction. Eight, we're going to do eight in the other direction. So exhaling down and inhaling up. Next, we're going to do meridian cleansing. Before, we were tapping the meridians, and now we're going to smooth them. So put your left arm out and bring your right arm up, hand up. Exhaling as you go down your arm, turn your hand palm up, inhale up. Cross over to the other side, palm down. Exhale going down the arm, palm up, inhaling as you go up. Cross your hands over to the outside of your left leg. Exhale it as you go down, around the foot, inhaling up on the inside. Outside of the right leg, exhaling down and around the foot, inhaling up. Let's do this one more time, two more times actually. Exhaling down, this is the yang side of the arm, the yang meridians, inside of the yin meridians. So yang meridians on the outside, yin meridians on the inside. So we're smoothing and balancing. Outside of the left leg, exhaling down. Remember, just go down as low as you're comfortable. Inhaling up on the inside. Exhaling down. Inhaling up again. Remember to exhale down, inhale up. Outside of the left leg, exhaling down, inside, inhaling up. Good, so that was meridian cleansing. Next, embracing yin and yang. So inhaling up, cross your wrists, bring them close to your body. Keep your legs straight, but bend at the waist. Exhaling, 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 exhaling. Inhale up. Hands close to the body, bending at the, folding at the waist. Exhaling, exhaling, squeezing all the stale air out of the bottom of the lungs. One more time, inhale up. Exhale over. Inhale up again. This is lung cleansing and strengthening. So down the center, so there's a column. And then inhale outside with your thumbs down. Exhale. Inhale up right in front of the middle dantian. Exhale down. Inhale out to the sides. Important that the thumb is down and stretching the lung meridian. Exhale. Inhale up. One more time. Good. Heart cleansing and strengthening. Exhale to the front. Inhale out to the sides. This time the fingertips are up, stretching the pericardium and the heart meridian. Exhale to the front. Inhale back to the body. Again, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. One more time. Good. Next, step forward on the right foot. This is liver cleansing and strengthening. So right hand at the liver area and left hand above it. Inhale. Exhale and sweep the chi down past the liver and down the leg and out. And then inhale coming up and back to the starting position. Exhaling down and out and inhaling up, exhaling past 
down past the liver, sweeping the chi down and out. And inhale up and step back, step forward on the left. The next one is for the spleen and the stomach. So um, left hand at the stomach area. And because this is for the stomach, the right hand is going to be at the mouth. So again, inhale. Exhale, sweep the chi down past the stomach, down the leg and out. And then inhale back to the knee and up to the mouth. Exhale down and out and inhale up. One more time. Good, step back. Next is intestinal cleansing and strengthening. And holding this ball of chi, we're gonna circle it. Keep the Palms facing each other so that your laogong points are connected, these energy points in the center of your palm. Intestinal cleansing and strengthening. So this is low by the lower abdomen. Next is kidney cleansing and strengthening. Put your right hand behind your back at the kidney area. Left hand in front, sandwiching the body. Inhale. Exhale and sweep the chi down and out and go over to the other side and inhale up. Exhale, sweep the chi down and out, over to the other side, inhale up. Exhale down and out, inhale up. Exhale down and out. One more time on each side. Inhaling up, exhaling down and out. Inhale, and this time bring your hand over your head, turn your torso to the left and exhale down. Inhale up, crossing gallbladder points on the head. Exhale down. This is gallbladder cleansing and strengthening. Exhale down, inhale up. Exhale down, one more time on each side. Good, next is balancing. Inhale up and exhale out. One more time. Very good. We're going to go back to meridian cleansing, just like we did before. So left arm out, palm down. Inhale, bring this up to your shoulder. Exhale as you go down your arm. Inhale, coming up. We're going to do three rounds like this, just like before. Exhaling down, inhaling up. Exhaling down the outside of the leg, inhaling up on the inside. So two more rounds, you can go at your own pace. Just remember to exhale down and inhale up. Same thing with the legs, exhaling down and inhaling up. And then grounding. Again, circling the Dantian eight times in each direction, starting by exhaling down on the left and inhaling up on the right. Eight times. Don't forget after you've done eight to do eight in the opposite direction. Exhaling down and inhaling up. Just take a couple breaths. Remember how inhaling or expanding. Exhaling, we're contracting and relaxing. Relax your hands down. 
Shift your weight to your right leg and step in with the left. And grab your chair again. We're going to sit down again. Okay, I uh, hope you're seated. Now we're going to do some immune boosting by touching points on the body. So these are points on the meridians that will help to boost your immune system. So the first point is right below the collarbone. That's the bone that runs here. So feel for it. Right below it toward the center. So put your three fingers lined up on it. Right below the collarbone in the center here. This is K27. In English, it's called Elegant Mansion, and it is um, a great way to help the lungs and the chest cavity. So any kind of uh, thing associated with the lungs, this will help. Next, we're going to rub points on the back. So right above the waist, these are bladder points, 23 and 47. Again, these are all immune boosting points, this whole routine. That's the second thing we're doing. Okay, you can do each one of these a little bit longer when you're doing it by yourself. We're almost finished for today. So next point is CV6. It's on the central meridian, and CV6 is halfway between the belly button and the pubic bone, and we're just going to put our fingers on it and push in. You can lean forward a bit and that will help to pry, apply, excuse me, apply a little bit of pressure there. Okay, next we're gonna do this point. Uh, we tapped this before actually, so four fingers below the knee. It's not on the center line and it's not on the outside line. It's right between them. And we're gonna rub up and down there, so you don't need to worry too much about being exact. If you rub up and down right there, you'll be on the points. So any point that's not on the central meridian is on both sides of the body. This point is uh, stomach 36, called three mile point. So if you're walking and you've walked as far as you can walk and you just can't walk any further, then you rub this point, you can walk for three more miles, three mile point. The next one is a kidney point, and it's on the inside of the uh, foot area, so between the ankle bone and the back Achilles tendon. It's right between there, so if you just rub up and down there, and I know you'll see this and think it's an ankle monitor, but it's actually my Fitbit. People ask me all the time. And then the next one to rub is between the big toe and the second toe. And we're just gonna rub up and down right there below where those two bones meet. This is a liver point. This is a great point for detoxification. So we all take in toxins from the environment and this helps your body to release them by rubbing here. And sometimes we intentionally take in toxins like, I don't know, alcohol or smoke. So detoxification point. Of course, we need to do the points on the other side and you can do them with a the heel of your other foot. So, you know, if you have a hard time reaching your feet or you can use an implement like a cane or a stick to rub these points. So again, between the ankle bone and the Achilles tendon, this is kidney three. And between the big toe and the second toe, right there, rub up and down. You can use a knuckle or something else, heel of your other foot, whatever works. And now we're gonna do a few points on the hands. So uh, first, Measure three fingers above the bending line in the wrist, and we're going to rub up and down there. This is at the outer gate. This is a triple warmer, it's on jowl point. Then we're going to rub between the thumb and the index finger, right. Um, below where the bones meet, so right there, but we're just gonna rub up and down there so you don't need to be 
so exacting. And if you don't have time, just do one side of the body is okay. If you have time, do both sides. Right above the bending line in the elbow, you feel there's two tendons there, right between those two tendons. This time we're gonna dig in with a finger. This is stimulating the point. This is large intestine 11. So we're gonna do those on the other side. So um, three fingers up from the bending line. And so rub up and down and then you're on it. And between the thumb and the index finger, rub up and down there. And above the elbow crease, so bend your arm. And then right above the elbow crease, between the two tendons, dig in there with your finger. So stimulating that point. Good. Now we're gonna go back to one and two. So what was the first thing we did in this little routine? We touched K27. So right below the collarbone, holding and breathing. Breathing from the belly. Good. I'm going back to the second thing we did. If you remember, that was the uh, B27 and 47 on the back above the waist. And the very last thing is to touch your hands together, thumbs touching the center point in the chest here. And close your eyes. And when you inhale, think of the breath going to your heart. Good, so that's an immune boosting routine that you can follow. And uh, when you're done with a particular uh, meditation or qigong, you're going to do a little bit of self-massage to bring yourself back to awareness. So rub your hands together and cup them over your eyes. This is good for your vision. Inhale and exhale. and rub your hands together again. We're going to wash our face. So you can go close to your face so you can just feel the heat or you can put your hands on your face and go up the center and around like that. Three, four, five, six. And we're gonna brush our hair next. Again, you can just go close to your hair or you can touch your head, either one. Three four, five, six, come up on the ball of your foot and drop down on your heels. I have to move back a little bit to do that. So up on the front part of the foot, on the toes, drop down on the heels. One, two, three, four, and just shake. Good. So inhale, bring your chi up. Exhale, bring it back to your dantian. Inhale up. This time as you exhale, imagine the chi going all the way down to your feet. And one more time. And this time, imagine the chi as you exhale going all the way down to the ground and release any extra chi that's unneeded through the center of your palms and the center of your feet. Thank you for coming. I wish you joy and good health and peace. Aloha.